from the film industry. And the person who had done, if you know about Amitabh Bachchan, who had done the beard for Amitabh Bachchan in Shain Shah. You know? Shain Shah, though no, we don't encourage people to sing movies, but I was told that the person who did the beard for Shain Shah and Amitabh Bachchan, he was a Muslim, he happened to be my friend. So we, we had them, mashallah, and the makeup, if you see, I doubt you might have seen anywhere else that young children of the age of 10 years, 11 years, the way they performed. And my son, he copied the speech, five minute section of my speech which I gave in London last year. When I'd come in December the, for the global unity of peace, the talk I gave at the Excel Theatre. And mashallah, you see, same type of beard, same cap, same coat, the actions. So the teachers trained them. The gestures, the way they walk, the way they come from the mic, the way they adjust the microphone, everything. Similarly with all the other speakers. If the speaker sits and speaks, our children also sat and spoke. And there were various skits. So if you see the drama, if you see the full five hours, you find children right from the age of three and a half to about nine and a half performing. And there was one section where a person is speaking. We see the various languages we teach in our school. English, Arabic, Marathi, Hindi, Urdu. You could see in the skit that our children, mashallah, are so fluent in all these languages that it really impresses the people. But one thing you realize that we should believe in professionalism. And if we see in our school, we have all types of Muslims taking admission. <clears throat> Hanafi, Shafi, <clears throat> whether it be Salafi, Ahle Hadith, Jamaat Islami, Tabliqi, Deobandi, Barevli. But we say, in our school, we follow Quran and Sunnah. And we take in writing that we will teach what is mentioned in Quran and Sai Hadith. And we make it, we make it very clear. We do not believe in dividing Muslims into different sects. Islam is against that, Quran is against that. Quran says in Surah Anam chapter 6, verse 159, that if anyone makes sex in the of Islam, it is haram. Oh, oh Prophet of Allah, we have nothing to do with him. So in spite of this, we have the children of the heads of the different Jamaats. Jamaat Islami, Tablighi Jamaat, all wanting admission, mashallah. So you really feel and you see a cross section of the Muslim Ummah, <clears throat> the rich, class, the middle class, the poor class, the different people, and people come from far away areas where they even have to travel two and a half hours. They come from length and breadth of Bombay. The school is in the center of Bombay. People come from Mira Road, from Mumra, they travel two and a half hours up, two and a half hours down. <clears throat> and some of the parents, when the child is very young, they have to travel eight hours, two hours up and down to drop, two hours up and down to pick up. So here we find that once we give quality, people are bound to come to you. One thing is that the, the Muslim Ummah wants Islamic education, but I, believe me, I would not put my son in any of the Muslim schools in Bombay if my school wasn't there. Not that I hate Muslims. I like them, but I want my child to get proper education. So the only option I had was to start a school. So here we realize that there should be demand. And whatever activity we do, we always say there should be 10 times minimum more number of people wanting to take part than the number of seats you have. Always. If there's a demand, then mashallah, you can provide quality and you can get the best out of the people because they know they have got admission out of a great difficulty. So what we say they follow. If you get easy, if it's a walkthrough, then they take it for granted. So here we realize that unless, and to have this model somewhere else, <clears throat> there are many people who copied uh, all our syllabuses, absolutely anyone can copy it free, no problem. But many people copied, hardly anyone close, came even close to 5% of what we are doing. <clears throat> because the main thing is not the syllabus, main thing is the management. Copying the syllabus is very easy. You can't take a syllabus from a good American or a British school and think you can match it. Main thing is how well you control it. How well you handle it. The management is very important. The management, the teachers, the parents, all put together. There should be a combination of everything. Everyone should have faith in each other. Then only will you really be able to make a difference. And once you have the confidence of the parents, inshallah you can do wonders. So many a times we introduce many things, mashallah. Always there has been cooperation. So unless you don't have quality, you will not be able to achieve what you're opting for. And this is the principle of Islam too. That you believe in quality, anything we do. 
So inshallah, what we want, that our next generation, inshallah, we want that they should have that love with Allah's kalam. So mashallah, if the Arabic is strong, unlike us, if the Arabic is strong, they can understand the Quran directly, they can implement on the message, and they can educate the others. Keeping this in mind, mashallah, we started the school, and with Allah's help, alhamdulillah, we never imagined that we could achieve whatever we have achieved. It's basically Allah's help. Whatever we are doing in IRF, in Bombay, when we look back, we could not have dreamt of doing these things. <clears throat> and the best example is myself. During childhood, I used to stammer. And I was in a medical college. I could have thought of becoming the best doctor in my dream. In your dream, you can dream of anything. No one can stop you. But even in my dream, I could not have thought, I could not have dreamt of speaking in front of 25 people because I was a stammerer. If you had asked me, what, what is your name? My name is Da, 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 Kid. Imagine Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with his help. What he has transformed in me. It's a miracle. Now I speak in front of tens and twenty thousand people, hundred thousand people. Largest audience I've addressed live is one million. Live, not on television, no, live. One million. And in India, mashallah, audience is always forty thousand, fifty thousand. And the way we manage, on time, we have 500 to 1,000 volunteers. Our volunteers. And when we call a guest speaker, there you see that when Dr. Isar Ahmed was called, not a single volunteer even shook hands with Dr. Isar Ahmed. Not that they didn't like him. They are trained. They are trained their mujahid. They can't shift away from the duty. They have to do their duty. And then only will you get result. Everyone, we have got volunteers, doctors, engineers, mashallah, more than 1,000 volunteers we have in Bombay. So whatever we do, we do professionally. That's the reason in our audiences, more than 25% are non-Muslims. More than 25%. When we have 40,000 audience, more than 10,000 are non-Muslim. More than what Muslims can gather here, we have non-Muslims there coming for our talks. Even on satellite, mashallah, there's a great percentage of non-Muslims watching our programs and they appreciate mashallah. So I would like to leave the throat open for the question and session. I would like to end this talk of educating the educators, which was the main theme of this conference. And I chose Harrow, though I'm giving talks on every venue different talks. I don't believe in giving the same talk every time. So I chose this venue, Harrow, the main theme, educate the educators in Harrow. And we leave the throat open for the question and session. I would like to end my talk with the question of the glorious Quran from Surah Isra. Chapter 17, verse 81, where Allah says, وَقُلْ جَعَ الْحَقْ وَزَاقَ الْبَاطِلِ إِنَّ الْبَاطِلَ كَانَ زَهُوكَ When truth is heard again, falsehood, falsehood perishes. For falsehood, it's by its nature bound to perish. وَآخِرُ دَعْوَانَ الْحَمْدُلِ لَرَبِ الْعَالَمِينَ Thank you, Dr. Zakir Naik, for the entertaining and also informative talk on educating the educators. Uh, just one word for the um, collection that we made earlier on. Alhamdulillah. By the grace and the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the endeavors of all of you, we have raised so far 45,000 pounds. Alhamdulillah. Takbir! 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 So, we need another 5,000 to get 50. And another 50 to get to 100. So when you're ready, don't forget the buckets are still circulating. The brothers are going to come round. That's the end of that. Brother Atar Khan from IRF in Mumbai has joined us on the stage. He will be moderating the question and answer session. I will leave, alhamdulillah. You'll see the back of me finally. And... The brother Atta Khan is going to be giving a talk on the 23rd. He himself is one of the disciples. Audi billah, I shouldn't say that. He's one of the students of Dr. Zakir Naik in his dawah in uh, IRF. And he has educated and the educators many, many times regarding that. Many people all around the world.